So you live football. We're uh, interviewing James. James, what did you think on the game? Boring. Just I stopped paying attention about 10 minutes in and I couldn't get back into caring. We won 2-0 though, so happy days. No, that's fair enough. Did you think any particular players particularly stand out? Or... Uh, I can tell you who didn't. I thought Schlopp looked bad. Um, he was really awful. Ayu was annoying. Edward scored a goal because he fell over. And apart from that, he did nothing else. Mateta pretty much did nothing. He did a couple of step overs before hitting the ball with the keeper, but hey. So, in terms of, I mean, in my opinion, the pre-season is more about the tactics rather than results. Do you see our tactics working well in the next season? or? I mean, I see it working well against Sheffield United because they're awful, but beyond that, I don't know. I, I literally, like, I'll be so honest in saying I have not paid much attention this pre-season. I've looked at the results. I watched the first... 45 of Crawley and then couldn't be bothered to watch the second half and that's about it oh I turned off the Watford game early on because I got bored of that as well I really basically yeah I don't like pre-season I find it boring this probably isn't going to make it to the channel <laughs> this enough. is really bad <laughs> at least you're honest James yeah. what, what would you say then um, would be some good positions that we need to fill oh, in to, fill to try and what we need to progress to be better uh, fullbacks would be important because, I mean, I, I, I thought Gyro was decent. I think he could do a shift at left back. Right back, Nathaniel Klein plays like he's injured, so it's not very good. Uh, give us a winger and a striker as well. Like, I'll be, I'll be real, striker, I'd love one, but it ain't going to happen. And, like, the sooner we accept that, the better it becomes because we ain't spending 40 mil on a decent striker. And what we can't get for 40 mil, it ain't worth it otherwise, because as bad as we think Mateta and Edward are, there's a lot worse out there and we don't realise it. Like, genuinely, better the devil you know situation. So, I'd honestly ignore a striker this window unless it's the, one of the two Arsenal guys. So, No, that's fair enough. Thank you very much as always, James. No problem. Cheers. Cheers.